Hello everybody and welcome to Draw with Alan. My name is Alan Dolan, I'm an illustrator and I'm a writer and I write and I draw books for kids. But I absolutely love drawing and I do a lot of drawing right here in this channel and you can also see my videos on alannolan.ie. Now today we are going to draw a very special creature. It is a dinosaur called a Triceratops. And this one is especially for Culfada National School in County Sligo. So well done everybody in Culfada National School. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to draw a Triceratops dinosaur. So we're going to start off in the middle of our sheet here, just over this side. We're going to do a sideways S shape. So like an S shape that's slightly lazy and slightly on its side. So I'm going to start up here with the top of the S. And I'm going to bring it down like this. So you can see how it's a bit lazy. It's lying down a bit. And we'll bring it down to there. All right. And that is the top of the dinosaur's crest up here. The top of his nose. And then down to the pointy beak part of his nose at the bottom. Okay, the next thing we're going to draw is the big crest that all Triceratops have around the back of their head. And they kind of look like feathers. So we're going to draw them like little feather shapes going down. And each feather as it goes will get slightly smaller. So I'm going to start off right at the top of the crest here with feather shapes going down. So I'm going to draw a feather like that. And another feather like this, getting slightly smaller. And a feather like this, and a feather like this, and a feather like this, and a feather like this. Okay, so we have some feathers going around and they're all getting smaller as they go down. Cool. Next thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw the dinosaur's eye. So just about here on the dinosaur, between the nose and between the feathers at the back of the crest, I'm going to draw a circle for the eye. So we draw a little circle in here. Okay. That's the outside of the eye. And then we draw a little circle inside that for the pupil in the eye. So we draw another circle in here. And then we'll colour that little inner circle in, but we leave a little sparkle of white up in the top right hand corner. Because this is a great way of bringing your characters to life. Put a little sparkle in their eye. If you're drawing a dinosaur, drawing a person, drawing a Loch Ness Monster, drawing Michael D. Higgins, whatever you're drawing, put a little sparkle into their eye. Especially if you're drawing Michael D. So we draw a little circle up there and then colour in the rest of the pupil black. So we colour in there, colour in there, colour in there, colour in there. There we go. All nice and black. Cool. Excellent. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the dinosaur's mouth. And we're going to do this from the beak here. I'm going to draw a little curvy line that'll go just underneath his eye, okay? So it'll be a little curvy line that goes up first of all and down and then up. And ends up underneath his eye like that. That's the top of his mouth, and then the bottom of his mouth, I'm going to draw like a little banana shape. Like a little sort of uh, line coming out like that, and then back like this, like half a banana. So I'm going to draw a line going out like that, and then a curved line coming back like that. And there we are. And while we're at it, we may as well finish off the head of this dinosaur, okay? We're going to do the beak part first. So I'm just going to show where the beak is, apart from his, his big snouty bit here at the front of his head. I'm just going to draw a line down for the beak. So a little curved line going from here down to here. That's his little beaky part. And then we'll give him his horn. The horn on the, He had a horn like a rhino nearly. So it was sticking off the top of his nose. So we'll do that with a little, a little bit like we did the little um, uh, banana shape for the bottom of his mouth. We'll do that up here. So a little banana shape going up. A little banana shape going down, and there's his little horn. And then we'll put some decoration on his crest, and we'll do that with a few little circles, just going down nearly inside the little feather shapes that we made, getting smaller as we go, and there we are. Cool, so we have our Triceratops head. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plant them on the ground with feet, and we're going to draw each of these feet with little, because they had feet like elephants, like little kind of square feet that go down like this, like rectangles and flat across the bottom. And then a couple of little toenails on them as well. So from the bottom of his mouth, I'm going to draw a little uh, line that comes down 
and then goes across and then back up again. Like the bottom of a rectangle without the top part, okay? So we come down like this, go across like this and go up like this, okay? And then I'm going to draw a straight line going across for his tummy. So straight line going across like that. And then the back foot is going to be the same as the front foot. Line down, line across, line up, okay? So line down, line across, line up to there. Cool. And then we'll put a couple of toenails on it. We'll do each toenail like a little upside down U. So we'll do a toenail and a toenail. We'll put two on each of his feet here, okay? So we'll do upside down U, upside down U for those two toenails. And the same on the back foot. Upside down U, upside down U. Cool. Now we'll do his tail. And we'll do his tail from this line at the back of his back foot. I'm going to draw a curved line going up to about here. So a curved line going up. Like that. And then we'll draw his back. We'll draw from this tip of the tail. We'll draw a curved line coming in. And then going straight into his crest. So a curved line up here. And it'll go straight, straight, straight into his crest like that. Brilliant! And then we will thicken up this dinosaur because it looks a bit skinny. We need to give him a little bit of a tummy. So we're going to start up at the tip of his tail here. And I'm going to draw another curve that will come down here right beside his, his original curve of his tail down to his foot. Okay, so a curve that will start up at the tip of his tail, come around, round, 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 come down to his foot. And then that line will go behind his leg, come out the other side and go across the other foot here. So it'll come out behind his leg, across the other side and up to his other foot. And then we'll put a few lines going across it just to show that he's a bit scaly and they're a bit like ribs. So we draw a few little lines going down like that, fit three or four in there and then a few going up his tail until it reaches up to the tippy top. And there we go, we're nearly finished. We'll just show him walking. So he has two legs, but we show the two legs of the other side and we'll show them at angles. So I'll draw another rectangle coming out like that at an angle from behind. And draw a couple of little toes on the end with the upside down U's. And just to show that he's walking, I'll do one at the back end, but going that way. So he's got one going the opposite direction over here with another couple of little U shapes. And that is your Triceratops. If you want to, you can add some spots because I love spotty dinosaurs. That means you have a real opportunity to colour them in, put brilliant colours on them. And there we go. That is your Triceratops. Well done, everybody.